That's a hard matchup. And it's very hard to bring that jungle pressure because Orion Soul almost has guaranteed push early on. He just has to stand in the minion wave while Malzahar wants to fix Raptors. Action. Not only is this guy playing an off roll, but it's, at least it's a very, oh, never mind. Uh, we got action. Of flight. They're going to try to land the Q as well. He's going to flash away, kick into the Q. Good execution. It's just that as Athena takes down first blood. I was going to say, at least it, he always gets first blood. <laughs> over and low. over and over. Now they have the health lead, but I may still standing tall here, going for the defense. All 10 players looking for the next move in. Amazing Jay gonna look for the backline, not gonna land the sun until just now. Ooh. And here comes the dive. Avoid this one to get out, but Mimi gets the kill first. Amazing Jay staying alive. MMB gets a trade kill onto Avoid this. Alistair does go down. That is a one for one. Death of support versus death of mid laner. But again, the wave is here and Flash will feel pretty good. One more auto will do it, and they do get the first turret. Able to slink away as well, and look at that advantage. Flash Wolves up a thousand gold. Very close, and in the end, Flash Wolves' patience pays off. They slowly whittle away. A lot of pings going down from Mazel. They want to keep up the chase. Amy wants in. Can he land a good stun? Voice of Light into the Devour. Sword not going to run out of health pretty soon. Can he pop the Grayskin? Yes. Now pushes out NL, shielding for as long as he can. But here comes the re-engage. The battle is on. Sword running out of health. One more hit will kill him. And Amazing Jay gets the first one. Ults back in. Gets a death on an MMD. And still, the stars coming out from Baby. Just the one for zero so far. But looks like Flash will still want in. Jin Chao running out of health. And Maple picks up that one. Karza still slinging around, dodging away from these stars. Best that he can. Can. Another deadly flourish comes around. MMD just invincible on the front line. Cocoon not gonna land from Karza, but he still wants the chase. Can they find one more? Flash was looking for it, but Amazing J is back in and living up to his name, getting himself that kill. Ooh, nice steadfast presence. Gets the head and knowing that if you face check and Malzahar, you just die. The Going damage in, but still coming pressure. through. The teleport to help make sure Athena's now in range. Maple's gotta keep Malzahar. Oh! One. Ulti is in, but they don't have the damage to kill him during the suppression. He's gonna be able to steal. They wanna try it. Maple running out of health. 1400 on the bear. They're not finishing it just yet. Who's gonna get this fight? It's not dying just yet. And he goes on to Amazing Jay. A white watches Ime. Already up 2-1 to one in this fight. Plus the bear looking for a bit more. Athena flashing to stay alive. And a catastrophe for Flash Wolves as they're losing more of their team. MMD gonna lose his guardian angel and we assume his life afterwards. He's running, running for dear life with 600 HP. The stun's gonna land for Amazing Jay. This is a catastrophe. NL. There's still time to keep him alive. NL just comes in to fight, losing his life anyway. MMD, Guardian Angel down, his life also. That is long term for. Athena has a Banshee's Veil and he's least in. Oh, oh, beautiful by MMD. Athena's gonna have to flash it out of this one or get some teammates, but the Silence comes in in time. Into the knockup and all the damage they need. What a pick up there by Flash Rules. Getting rid of the IMA jungler. Now it's Amazing J running, but burning down. forward motion. Amazing J takes the ulti. No big deal there. MMD, of course, invincible on the front lines. Maple split back out by the Devour of Sword Art. And now you've got the Lee Sin rejoining the team. It's a five on five. A nice tackle oh. to get away from the stun, but it's still a take on the Karsa, who's devoured by Sword Art. Voice of Light flashed away, but that's going to be a Q landing. Exhausted with Athena keeps Maple alive, but it's not enough damage. He once again bites off more than he can chew, and that is Athena dead again. MMD onto the back line, but can't quite kill Jin Zhao. Now being chased by Baimi. Amazing J taking up what shots he can to force the Guardian Angel out of MMD. Avoidless out of health, and now for the re-engage. As MMD respawns on this Poppy, running out of health. That's the Deadly Flourish popping the Guardian Angel. Amazing J, yes, in time so that he cannot stun the rest of Flash Wolves. But it's now Jin Zhao on the chase. The ricochet bounces, almost lands it, but it's now Baimi jiving through, hoping to get the damage, and L could be the last one alive, running for dear life. And it's a double kill in for Baby. Deadly flourish. The flash on Maple. I think he kicks at the end of the exhaust spirit as well, not killing Maple. So there's all these small things that are going oh. on for Ime. Baron Rush, and it's going to be secured. Nicely done. Two Barons in a row. Turret. And Athena's far away. This is a five on three without even a smite steal. Teleport for a few more seconds. Teleport's coming, but it's still a 5v4. This should be good enough for Flash. Will's attack onto Avoidless. Here comes a flank. Amazing J not going to land a stun, but it's already a kill onto Carson. That is Flash. Flash Wolves at least dead. MMD tanking up what he can, but look at the damage up, but coming from Jin Zhao, cutting through this tank, and even Maple just gonna run out of health. Amazing J gets the stun. A nice devour by Sword Art, but it's probably not gonna be enough as Baby is pretty much unstoppable here. A rampage, another kill for Jin Zhao. 16 to 5, a 4 for 0 team fight. If you let a late game prove to 2 and 2 and be the third Chinese team here from the LPL to make it into the quarterfinals. So far, so good. They start the day with the win. They've got two foes left, but right now they're two and two. We saw teams like H2K fix their week one problems coming into week two, but it is more of the same for Flash Wolves. They ramp up slowly, but they definitely ramp up.
and then it all falls apart at a crucial moment in the late game. There was a glimmer of hope at the end of week one for Flash Wolves, where it looked like they were pulling it together, but I may once again expose the same issues. Honestly, though, this time 